Hey guys, Takisugi here. If you haven't heard the news yet, North American Lost Saga is no longer going to be published by We Made USA. Uh, this happens on December 8th. The uh, service will close with We Made USA. Uh, the good news is, this time you won't be robbed of all the content you purchased or the time you invested into your characters uh, and your account. So at least you get transferred to a new service. And Who's the new service going to be under? It's going to be under Z8 Games. Uh, you may be saying, who the heck is that? Um, they're kind of an, a little unknown company. Uh, they have had some success with Crossfire. Uh, so Crossfire is a FPS game, and I've played it before. It's, it's, it's okay, but you know, once you played Counter-Strike, everything is just compared to Counter-Strike pretty much. And that's what it is to me. <laughs> uh, but um, this company, you know, we'll have to wait and see and see if it gets better, if the grass is greener on the other side or not. Uh, but we can kind of speculate on this video, and I'll talk about what maybe potential pros and potential cons are behind this transition. Uh, so let's let's discuss the, the company here and see what they're doing so far. So, so far, I can't get this webpage to load correctly. Uh, but here's their uh, tentative site here. So um, you can you can see on my screen it hasn't loaded completely, but it does have some neat, um, some promising things about it. You can see it's very colorful, very bright, very nice, very eye pleasing. Uh, you can see when I move my mouse cursor around, they have like a little animation in the background with bubbles. So it looks like they are going for some animations behind the website. So they're not phoning it in like you know this lost saga here where you got a couple of pictures and that's pretty much it <laughs> uh, so they are um, trying to step up their web design game and make it a little bit more appealing and eye pleasing uh, I wish I could load it let me hit refresh real quick and see if it does anything Ooh, here we go okay so it did load this time uh, new chapter in the saga coming soon so yeah you can see it's pretty colorful I, I think it looks pretty good so far yeah, I can't really see the whole thing. Maybe it's just my, you know, my resolution messing up. But I see a lot of old gen characters. But you know, most Lost Saga um, websites kind of use the older stuff pretty frequently, except you know Taiwan and all those. So yeah, yeah, it's looking good so far. Um, and the bonus behind this uh, Z8 Games website is they do have traditional forums. Let's just go to uh, Google Z8 Games. Uh, we'll go to their website here really quick. So they do have traditional forums. You can see they got Crossfire here. They got Fishing Hero, whatever the heck Fishing Hero is. Arcane Hearts, don't know what that is either. Uh, but yeah, they have they have official forums. So hopefully they add a Lost Saga forum where you guys can communicate and share share things better. Or maybe you know if you're if you're into this whole thing with trolling, you can troll a little better. <laughs> but I'd say they'd have a little bit better moderation than what um, we made USA did. So yeah, that's that's a few things. You know, the website's looking better, and they're doing a little bit more with the web design, and they're gonna have better forums. So what? Let's see. Did I already? Yeah. Let's try and load it again. So another thing about this website is, if you'll notice, they have links to social media and to YouTube at the bottom. So let's look through each of those. I've already loaded them up on my uh, tabs here on Google Chrome. So we'll look at the YouTube first. Um, YouTube is nothing special so far. They've got a little banner up there, um, old gen season one banner. Uh, it doesn't look like they have any subscribers according to this button. Let's see, here's a few comments. My user, my user from Japan. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what that means. I see a first comment though. Oh, they might have four subscribers. So whatever. I guess the subscribe button on YouTube is broken. So yeah, there's nothing much on there yet. But the fact that they have a YouTube is pretty pretty good whether a little updated or not who knows but they're trying they're loading all these things up and getting ready for the launch of the game and uh, here's their Twitter so they actually have a Twitter for the game uh, there's only four following let's hit refresh maybe they'll get more nah they only got four uh, so it's at NA Lost Saga you know I'm not much of a Twitter person so I don't really know much about Twitter and the ins and outs of it <laughs> a lot of weird worldwide trends. I don't even know what this thing's about. But yeah, they got looks like they got a pretty nice background on this Twitter. Uh, I can't really see it from the Google, Google Chrome, but I do have it loaded up on my Firefox. So There's the full thing for the background they have on their Twitter. Uh, Heavy Crasher is pretty prominent on it. You can see like the bullets or whatever flying around. 
and they're all fly- floating over Earth. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I guess, you know, Z8 Games is into the whole FPS thing, so Heavy Crasher probably is kind of appealing to them. But yeah, it's it's a pretty nice background. They're they're taking steps to make it look better. So let's get back to the other stuff. Here's their um, here's their Facebook. Uh, Twenty two likes. Let's refresh it. Maybe they get more. No, not yet. Uh, their banner. You know, it's the same banner they use on their YouTube. So they are using some stock stuff. Uh, they do have a neat little gun logo here. Um, with cowboys gun. You know, cowboy sucks though. I don't know why they would choose that, but whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, I wish they would use some more current promotional material with newer characters, you know, uh, kind of pimp that Iori out, for instance, you know, uh, maybe advertise a new character on relaunch that you plan on using, you know, this, uh, and beggars can't be choosers, I guess, I guess I'm just happy someone's picking up the hosting duty so we can still experience the game, and Hopefully it'll get better under them. I don't know about that or not. We'll discuss that a little bit more. But yeah, you know, their website here, their Lost Saga Facebook here, they're not going for the whole transfer thing, I don't guess, with the likes. So they're trying to keep it a little bit fresh, maybe. I don't know. So moving on to discuss a little bit more outside the social media. Uh, you can see um, how active they are on their... On their uh, Facebook. So this is kind of a good sign, especially if they transition this policy onto Lost Saga. So you can see they communicate pretty often with their players. I uh, can't really see it from their main page too much, but if you look at their Crossfire page, November 19th, 19th, 18th, 17th, 15th, 15th, 14th. So you can see they communicate throughout the week on Crossfire. Uh, so they are very um, involved with their community and uh, talk to them and do a lot of these crazy events for Crossfire and they actually promote a lot of competition as well so that's a good sign for Lost Saga especially with it going to the World Championships without uh, the US or Japan that maybe um, Z8 Games will actually send a team if they hold this type of event next year so uh, it could because they do send teams to WCG for Crossfire. Uh, I've met the teams before. So yeah, that's a bonus that they are very communicative uh, with their community. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. And here's another bonus. This one is particularly directed at you European players. Um, if you look on their official wiki, I don't know how accurate this is or not, but it says its games are offered internationally and Z8 Games offers game servers in the United Kingdom for European players. So potentially this could open a window for a European Lost Saga release. Uh, it's not guaranteed, of course, but uh, I encourage you European players to, you know, submit feedback to Z8 Games maybe and see what they might do and get their official stance on potentially opening a European server. You might have to wait and see if they have success on the North American relaunch. Uh, because they might be hesitant to pull the trigger since we're pretty much the sloppy thirds <laughs> at this point. Uh, so you might have to wait and see if they um, really enjoy success with the North American version again. But this leads me into a few cons here. So um, I don't know how accurate these cons is. And this is all speculation, guys. But uh, you can see here their headquarters, according to this wiki, is in Toronto, Canada. Um, so what that means is they could potentially have servers located in Canada instead of the U.S., which is, you know, where Lost Saga servers have traditionally been uh, hosted in, in California. This could probably create some lag problems with players, especially if they still shy away from that whole peer-to-peer -peer aspect. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see on that. You know, I, I'm sure it's a real real big bonus for Canadian players, but I think the game's population is primarily U.S. players, so we'll, we'll wait and see on that. And I, I wrote out a sloppy list here just to remind me during this video. And yeah, of course, they still have to deal with um, IO Entertainment, you know, IO down here, this little logo here. Uh, so the content, we still have to get content from the developers over there. They still have to get the content over here translate it, um, test it, you know, 
deal with the technical issues and uh, um, <laughs> have to organize a new schedule. So, um, you know, hope, if anyone's hoping the schedule was going to be better, if the bi weekly updates were going to go to weekly, I don't see that actually happening. I see it still being bi weekly, if not tri weekly. Uh, just because, you know, we're getting stuff from the source of developers who don't really seem to want to invest a lot of hard work into our version at the expense of other versions. So we're the version who gets cut. But having a third-party publisher, unlike We Made USA with Z8 Games, uh, we can potentially hope for a bit of better treatment just because they are a third-party publisher. And... Uh, IO would, IO and we made would be perhaps more obligated to help them maintain a steadier release schedule. We'll see about that though. We'll see. Uh, that's just a wait and see thing. This is all speculation, guys. And let's see. Let's look at my little notes here. Uh, more active on the stuff. So yeah, I took notes, guys. I, I was just writing out my thoughts and decided to make a video. And yeah, um, they are allowing transfers, so we can see that it was probably We Made USA that denied the transfers from OGP. Since OGP is getting a new game, Uncharted Waters, I think, which they're allowing transfers in. So we can see it was probably uh, We Made USA who made you buy everything and level up all over again. So third-party publisher, more active social media, more form of forums, forums, we cover that. Competitive play in Crossfire. Like the other company, uh, European releases, headquarters in Canada, and they still out there. So I believe that's all the notes I really wanted to make with the game. Um, hopefully it'll be better under them, and hopefully uh, everyone can enjoy it a little more, and it'll be a better experience, because uh, this is a pretty awesome game, and it's getting a little bit shady in Korea right now. I've, I can see they're kind of have a weird set of play styles. Maybe it's just me, you know, I'm a, I'm a foreigner compared to them. Uh, but I, I really hate their play style nowadays. I think it harkens back to the whole swap combo era, which, you know, was okay, but uh, a lot of cheap stuff going on over there, I think. <laughs> I hate calling things cheap, but uh, when you see some of their videos, you can tell it's cheap. But uh, I digress. Uh, hopefully you guys get to enjoy this new Lost Saga, and hopefully it's a better experience than what we had on our We Made USA. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next video.